Hi everyone, how are you all doing? So today we will be looking at 43 inches 4K Ultra HD TV at budget price. Plenty of competition out there as usual, like I say every time. So 43 inch 4K Ultra HD TV, what is the important things that you should be looking for when you're buying this TV? And I'll be not confusing you too much with too many models, best five, top five. No, just two models I'll suggest you can buy either one of these. So I've made it very easy for you. I have went through plenty of um, TV models and I've gone through the user reviews and with the average user review suggesting really good model for the long term usage so i have filtered them all and i'll be suggesting you only two best 43 inch 4k ultra hd tv that you should be picking one of those so before we begin this video if you're new to my channel don't forget to click on that subscribe button all right so before i suggest two models i'll be just briefing you about this what you should be actually looking for i have actually made separate video on tv buying guide you can go and watch that video for complete information but in this video i'll be just giving you a brief on what panels you should be looking for LED or QLED but then when it comes to LED what panel they have used either VA or IPS so these are two panels really important here VA panel so it's vertical alignment what that means is it has plenty of contrast ratio so about 2000 is to 1 ratio is what typically you get with the VA panels here so when there is something scenery that you are watching is dark so it shows exactly that is dark but in case of IPS in plane switching is what we call IPS so in case of IPS panel it won't be that dark but then again if the panel quality is really good dark or dark so you won't get that deeper dark because the contrast ratio here is 1000 is to 1 ratio so up to 1000 it can show the contrast ratio the disadvantage of VA panel here is the viewing angle itself so while you're watching sitting in different directions and you're viewing the TV so you don't have that really good viewing angle so it should be like as if you are sitting straight and watching the TV so how it looks exactly that is how it should look when you're changing the direction as well but that's not the case with the VA panel when it comes to IPS panel the major advantage here is color accuracy it can show a lot of colors in a really good way which means picture quality is really good and also the viewing angle is excellent with the IPS panel the two models that I'm suggesting one is the VA panel LED VA and I'll also suggest the alternative to this one the QLED TV so make sure to watch the video till the end with the second model here I'm suggesting the IPS panel TV so which is really great as well in terms of feature set pretty much both get similar feature or specifications so with all this said the number one TV is the A Acer 43 inch 4K Ultra HD TV. With the Acer TV, there are actually four variants here. One is the G series, one is the V series, you have the advanced I series, and there is also this H Pro series. So what I'm suggesting here is you either go for the H Pro series or buy the advanced I series. So this is where you get the LED VA panel type. And if you buy the V series, you are getting QLED TV. With respect to specification, everything is similar with one major advantage for the H Pro series. So you have 76 watt speaker with the H Pro series. So that's the only difference between these three uh, TVs here other than the QLED TV just to make you very simple and clear if you want good sound output large sound output dual amplifier dual woofer and you also have dual tweeters so you go ahead and buy the Acer 43 inches H Pro series TV I'll leave a link in the description you can check that there this is where you get 76 watts RMS output speaker and the rest of the specification is very similar you get the HDMI 2.1 USB 3.0 you also have uh, connectivity features like Bluetooth 5.0 and there is also Wi-Fi 2 bands dual band which is 5 gigahertz as well as 2.4 gigahertz you will get all these things with all of these TVs the only difference is the sound output so if you don't want that 76 watt sound output you can easily go ahead and buy the V series or the advanced I series so with the advanced I series you get pretty much similar specification but you get the 30 watt speaker output so that's the only key difference and if you want QLED and you can shell out like 27 28 thousand rupees definitely go ahead and buy the V series so make sure to check the description for clear variant difference difference there so all these TVs comes at around 22 to 27,000 rupees so that's very budget friendly and you'll get really great TVs the number two TV recommendation is from VU LED IPS display which is really great in terms of color accuracy and also viewing angle so with this TV you're also getting this 400 plus nits of brightness so in plane switching great picture quality great dynamic range good viewing angle so if that is what you're looking for just go ahead and buy this VU 43 inch TV it's latest model as well you can check the description for latest updated pricing just two models very simple you don't have to look for other brands and get confused so just go ahead and buy this tv you'll be really enjoying the tv experience so hopefully this video was informative if yes hit that like button don't forget to share it with your friends and if you are new to this channel don't forget to click on that subscribe button i will see you in the next one until then take care everyone bye bye